Loomis method for head construction is very popular because it is easy to learn and remember and can be applied to any head design. Even if learning the method is easy, drawing the head and face almost never is. Indeed, many individual factors must be taken into account, perspective, proportions, structure of individual elements, their location, etc. Additionally, we must learn to bring it all together into a cohesive final piece of work, a feat that is more difficult than it seems. However, great progress can be made with diligent practice and attention to detail. In this tutorial, I'll cover everything you need to know to get started with the Loomis method of head construction. If you are looking for video instructions on building the Loomis head, here is this basic lesson of this method with two simple and easy examples for you, but please try to repeat them as much as possible. And go to the other videos on this channel to practice more of the Loomis method, where I show you how to draw the portrait from all angles. The Loomis method, developed by American artist and illustrator Andrew Loomis, is a popular approach for learning how to draw the human head and figure. The method emphasizes constructing the head or figure from basic geometric shapes and then refining the details. Here's a simplified guide on how to draw using the Loomis method. Drawing the head using the Loomis method. Start with a circle. Begin by drawing a circle. This will be the cranium, skull, of the head. Add the jawline. Draw a straight line extending from the bottom of the circle. This line represents the center of the face and helps in placing the features accurately. Add an angled line on each side to form the jaw, connecting them to the circle. Divide the face. Divide the circle horizontally and vertically to create guidelines. The horizontal line is for the eyes, and the vertical line helps in placing the nose. Place the features. Position the eyes along the horizontal guideline. Eyes are usually spaced one eye width apart. Place the nose along the vertical guideline, and then draw the mouth below it. Refine the features. Add more details to the eyes, nose, and mouth. Pay attention to the proportions and angles suggested by the Loomis method. Add ears and neck. Position the ears roughly between the eyes and the bottom of the nose. Draw the neck, connecting it to the jawline. Refine the head. Refine the shape of the head, making sure it looks natural and three-dimensional. Drawing the figure using the Loomis method. Start with the bean shape. Draw a bean shape to represent the torso and pelvic area. This establishes the overall pose and balance of the figure. Add proportional guidelines. Add a line halfway down the bean for the waist and another to represent the shoulders. Draw limbs as cylinders. Extend lines from the shoulders and waist to represent the upper and lower limbs. Break down each limb into cylindrical shapes. Refine the limbs. Add joints and shape the limbs, keeping in mind the natural bend and flow of the body. Add features. Add the head on top of the torso and refine the facial features using the Loomis method. Refine and add details. Refine the overall shape of the figure, adding muscles, clothing, and other details. Remember to practice regularly and study anatomy to enhance your understanding of the human form. The Loomis method is a helpful starting point, and as you gain confidence, you can adapt and modify it to suit your style.
That's it my friends, I believe that the essential is done, the basis is the perfect drawing of the portrait, for the question of shadows and lights it remains a question of time and patience for the details.